tutende kazi Kurugenzi, <laughs> my man, young and stupid, fresh out the kitchen, man, new season, ay, 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 season eight. Kitu tumeanza mchezo mchezo hapa juzi ndio yeye kwa karibu kutandika ten seasons. Ay, guys, again, we're cruising nicely, man. Santi sana kwa yo support yote and kukuwa na mimi hapa throughout the journey, the growth and everything. Tuzidi sana, man. Ama na mnagani. I'll see you. Now, kuna kuna watu wanakuaga tu unlucky yani hauna ngori na mtu au una tashwishi au una bugudha lakini shetani ameamua tu kukukulia press up sio siku ana yani anakutambariza proper hayo ni masaibu ambayo alimkumba kijana fulani kutoka maeneo ya nyaururu na pale nyaururu kuna kijana amemaliza form 4 vizuri sana E, kuna ile tulikuwa tunaita gap ya e, kungoja tu aujui sasa stage next ya maisha ni nini unangoja matokeo hapo mwezi wa pili au oh, sikuizi ni december hiyo time ilikuwa matokeo ni mwezi wa pili then ungoje miezi zingine sijui sita ama ni saba ndio report shule september mwaka ikienda kuisha aka kagapi hapo ndio inakuwa unajaribu kila kitu kwa hii maisha wewe ni ndume lakini unapiga biashara ya kusuka wa mama braids yani anything just to get by ndio at least usikae idle hiyo time. Sasa ukijana amepiga bez pale Nyaururu, anauliza uliza mawaku waka hapa na pale, akauliza rafiki yake mmoja, "Eh, hey, mtu wangu, umesikia mahali naweza pata mboka? Nishikilie shikilie mdogo mdogo bana tukingoja September tufanye ile mambo yetu." Ah, akaambiwa, "Nice. Ah, kuna mzee fulani hapa ni hatari sana. Ako na biashara left, right and center. Na najua amefungua uh, hotel and lodging. Ama ni buy and lodging." za huko mashinani zinakoga bar and lodging ya yeah. ya yeah. bar and lodging amefungua bar and lodging mahali na nimesikia ni kama wanatafuta mtu hapo front office unaweza piga kazi ya front office ah of course yeah why not ah very fast so akampiga hook up teke teke kijana akaenda kule akajitetea akapata manager akupata mwenye kampuni alipata manager akamwambia ni aje nimepatiwa eh, leads na mtu fulani akaniambia hapa mnaweza kwa mnatafuta mtu wa front office na mimi hakuna kazi nimeiva kama hiyo mnaweza kuwa bado mnatafuta nianze ah akaambiwa very fast hata eh, na, naona pia kisura huko mbaya sana unaweza kaa hapa kuna watu huwezi weka hapo kwa front office kusema tu kweli manake it will be detrimental to your business huwezi kuja na ray of hope and sunshine pate butita front office no e, ngumu ina kukumbusha tu bad decisions that maybe you are about to make there hakuna haja weka mtu ana meta meta hapo mambo ikuwe sawa e, akapatiwa nini akaanza kazi na mambo ikakuwa sawa it did not take long for him to discover kuna makarao fulani wanapiga shughuli sijui kwa police station gani hapo every day without fail wanatembea kwa ma businesses wakiokota their business among them So walikuwa wanakuja wanaingia wanaanza story story hapo kidogo kidogo alafu wanapiga ile kitu ehe nakwaje mm, one of the staff anaingia kwa ma draw hapo anawachunia kitu anawapea so jamaa alikuwa na notice kitu sana like every day they would come get something na wanaishia so ikafika kwa boss ya kwamba kuna makopo na kujaga hapa daily wanaokota boss akashindwa why kwa nini wanachukua pesa kwetu kama ni certification zote tuko nazo we are compliant tuko na mambo ya ile barua ya tourism tuko nayo sababu tuko na lodging huko juu mambo ya mvinyo tuko na license zote why kwa nini tunawapatia pesa na hakuna sheria tumevunja mdosi akasema kutoka leo kwanza aliita manager manager alikuwa mama mwenye alipatia kijana kazi madam 
au maafisa wanakuja kuokota sijui pesa usidhubutu kuwapatia hata shilingi e, wakikuja waambie hivyo vile wamekuja warudi waende waweke usalama mali pengine hapa tuko sawa we have complied e, so sioni kwa nini tunashinda tukiwapatia pesa daily so the following day the cops wana come wanafanya ile kama mambo yao namna gani wanaambiwa ah samahani <laughs> hongo unayatafuta haipatikani kwa sasa enda utafute mahali pengine mudosi amesema hakuna pesa tunapeana kutoka leo hiyo story haikuwafurahisha iliwakwaza kuruka shut your story imeishi hapo Around 2021 bado tunabishana bishana na hii mambo ya covid covid bara iko mara iko mara tunafaa kuwa na mask mara si lazima unakumbuka hapo ka period 2021 a lot of uncertainties so jamaa siku moja amepiga shughuli yake i think ametoka akaka shift ka saa 7 ama nikutumwa no alikuwa ametumwa so watu wangekuja kwa hii lodging walipe na mpesa wengine but wengine walikuwa wanalipa na cash So zile zenye wameokota cash kijana alikuwa anapewa anaambiwa hizi cash enda kwa mpesa fulani u deposit alafu uziweke kwa account ya ya hoteli ya sasa sawa so yeye amechukua cash yake vizuri ameweka kwa mfuko amechukua mask yake ameiweka mahali inafaa kwa mfuko then ametoka <laughs> e, akiwa kwa barabara anasimamisho oya Ehe anasimama na shanga eh rada majamaa wanakaa hapo wanaanza kumuuliza eh hey, wapi mask ah akajo immediately hawa ni cops in fact one of them namjua how do i know him anakuwa ga moja wa wale anakujia ga mambo so wapi pale kwa hoteli so akamwambia mask niko nayo guys pole ni sana ai kumbe hata iko oh oh pole guys acha ni hata before i wake pale kibare oh! kwa nini unatembea bila mask Unajua ni blanda kutembea bila mask wakamhanda handa wakamhanda handa chap wakampiga ile kitu hapa nyuma ya jeans unajua ile unaendaga ukitiptoe ni kama we ni bale dancer yani balerina kapiga tiptoeing mpaka kwa station kaenda kaingizwa huko ndani ni nini, nini sasa wameanza kumhoji hoji ehe unafanyaga nini akafanya the cardinal sin ya kuambia hawa maafisa ninafanyaga kazi kwa hoteli XYZ Hoteli XYZ ambayo imenyongea watu income kutoka a few days ago hawajakuwa wakikula hata shilingi hapo ah 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 makarao kasikia nyinyi ndio uu kwanza ni mateke 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 yani kijana alikula fire hapo kwa hiyo police station akaambiwa wewe kwanza ile makosa umefanya ni hatari unatembea na bangi kwa mfuko ah ashi, we Ah, ya, ya, yangu ni mwaska i think kuna nini yangu ni ma- ah, unatembea na bangi kwa mfuko na si tu bangi mbili hiyo tungejua ni yako ya kuvuta nyingi kumaanisha unauza bangi akashinda we nauza bangi aje si mumenishika juu ya mask kwanza vibare vibare ingia huko ndani kuingia huko ndani kwa cell akapata kuna comrades wameshikwa kutoka kwa certain university kwa hapo karibu na apart from our comrades kuna wengine walikuwa wameshikwa na kesi ya forgery no fake money eh hey, walikuwa na mapesa ma fake akatupa kwa sel one of the officers akakumbuka hao wa fake money akawaambia aya hata mwenzenu tumemshika ndio huyu anauza bangi na anafanya fake money na nyinyi ha yani ushaona yani karao amekuwa sasa too much mpaka hao wenyewe hii makosa wanasema hapa hapa ana ha wewe acha a a huyu atukuagi na eh bana una hapana mnakuaga na eh jamaa hapo ndio akajua we hapa kimeniramba hapa hapa mambo imeharibika so wakiwa pale ndani of course eh, mtu waga anapatiwa ka nini kakupigia mtu wake akuje asaidike lakini pale ni different si wewe unapiga hiyo simu ni maafisa wanapiga hiyo simu sasa maafisa nao ni hatari wanapiga hiyo simu design yenyewe eh, mali huko utaona ni easy tu kutuma pesa kuliko wewe kukuja y- yani kama one of the guys alikuwa hapo kwa sale makarao alipiga simu kwa baba yake wakamwambia wa 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 kijana yako as we speak ameekelewa tairi kwa shingo kiberiti ndio inatafutwa saa hii aingie pale kwa mambo ya microwave yani wanataka kumu keep warm very fast eh sasa ni wewe ujue vile utamsaidia. Sasa unajua mzazi wa kiombali asikie mtoto wake amekelewa tayari anashindwa nifanye nini? Ukimwambia hata tuma ka 50,000 sai. Hata ituma. Kama mpolisi amekupigia akakwambia mtoto amekelewa tayari. Unatuma asaidike. 
So the same wakapiga simu kwa manager wa ile hoteli huyu kijana anafanya kazi wakamwambia mtu wako tumemkamata na vitu mingi. Anafanya counterfeit huko, anauza bangi. Huyu huyu atoki huyu. Huyu ni mpaka 2046. Ah, mtakula faya na eh. So of course ule manager akajua hii ni, ni kelele. Huyu kijana nimemtuma sahi hapa ende Mpesa ku deposit cash. Ameanza kuunini counterfeit sangapi na kuuza bangi sangapi. Akatoka akakuja mpaka wapi stenje akapasha maafisa mbaya sana kumbe sasa ndio kuharibu anaharibu we maafisa wakasema sasa huyu atakuwa atakuwa example akalala kwa station hiyo siku sheria inasema the following day unafaa unafikishwa wapi kotini teke teke akafikishwa kotini kotini watu wametoa mpaka ma exhibit bangi iko hapo na karatasi ya red unashindwa gai saa makops walikuwa tu na bangi wameiweka mahali waitumie kama prop wakati wananiwekelea ngori yani ni sawa tu so judge akasikiza nini akasema ina mambo eh, wacha ingie remand eh, another day then kesho turudi tena sasa tusikize ika mambo vizuri so majamaa wakapelekwa prison iko hapo karibu eh, kuna karimand prison iko area wakaingizwa pale ndani ule mjamaa baba alipigiwa anaekelewa taya wako pamoja wakaingizwa huko wakabangaiza wakalala the following day wakaamka kama ilivyo desturi watu wa jela hii mnajuaga kitu ya kwanza kufanya ni mnaitaga kukaba lazima una mna squat hapo mnapigwa head count nyinyi wote mnahesabiwa mkishahesabiwa mnachukuliwa mnawekwa kwa mudi hopa ile basi ya prison naitagwa hivyo sababu mudi ya wari ndio alizileta. Kwa ni sti uko unajua hiyo. <laughs> ah, mnakumbuka mtu anaitwa mudi ya wari? Alikuwa VP at some point. Eh, sasa alikuwa minister for home affairs na prisons iko under home affairs. Sasa alipiga reforms ngori sana kwa prisons. Alileta mpaka TV na mabasi kali. Hizi mabasi mnaonaga za prisons kubwa kubwa. Hizo ni mudi alileta. So zinaitangwa mudi hopa. So wakae kwa mudi hopa haraka fasta wakapelekwa wapi kotini but before waende kotini after washamaliza kuhesabiwa wakati wako hapa wanangojea ngojea mudi hopa ikamu waingia waende e, walikuwa na masimu wamesharudishiwa ukienda prison una, i mean kotini ujusao ni umerudi raia unarudishiwa go tu simu wako ni nini so one of the guys huyu wa taya tumemwekelea taya anataka kuchoma huyo kijana akatoa simu akaambia huyu mguys wetu oya buda hebu nipige nipige ka selfie hata mimi nikipigia wase story nishaikuwa guest of the state waamini akapigwa kapicha chak chak eh hey, huyu jamaa pia kaona yeye ni deadly hata wewe nipige hata mimi nikipigia dem yangu story ajue hey hata mimi kashawa ni ramba mbaya kacha kacha akapigwa picha nice na hiyo story kaishi hapo wakaingia kwa mudi hopa vile ilikamu wakaenda kotini wakaingizwa pale kwa doc na ma, mashtaka zikaanza kusoma ah watu wangoria counterfeit wakasoma nini zao nini 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 hiyo story kaisha sijui waka kesi kairishwa tu wen wakaandikiwa cash bill na what not mwingine sijui ngori yake ni nini jamaa wetu wamengojea tu tani yake ifikiwe ah wakasomewa mambo yake kaisha kijana wetu akaitwa pale kwa doc akaenda kwa nini akasomewa mashtaka yake nini nini alikuwa shaongea na lawyer lawyer akamwambia usikubali kitu hawa watu kwani wao wanafikiria ni nani Usi, wacha tu kesi haya ule mdosi wake ule manager mwenye alimwandika job amemwambia mtu yangu hakuna kukubali tunakubali kama ni cash bail wata nini tutailipa eh hey, wamezoea baya hawa sasa lazima tutalipa wewe ingia pale kataa sababu si hakuna bangi ulikuwa nayo jamaa sema mimi nilikuwa tu na mask kwa mfuko na ile pesa nilikuwa nimetumwa mpesa basi So mashtaka ikasoma nini jamaa akasema siko guilty hiyo e, mambo ya bangi stambui nini nini cops wakakuja na story nyingi oh tulimshika nini 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 bas So judge akamwambia na mambo tunamweka nje na cash bail i think ilikuwa 30 g's or something e, hii kesi itasikizwa after i think 60 days if i'm not wrong na jamaa akaachiliwa on bail So maze aki huku nje anaongea na lawyer anashindwa kwa nini aso ananifanya hivyo mbona ama cops ana behave hivyo hiyo why like mbona utuende out of your way kumek to life ya mtu miserable for no reason akaambiwa ina kwa hivyo maze sa zingine kuna uh, bad apples akukosagi wasio ni wazuri but kuna a few bad apples wenye wako tu hivyo so design kwa kikisha pia si tunawafundisha lesson design uh, watarudia kufanya hiyo nini tena but sasa noma ni 
maze it's your word against them ju, against theirs ju unajua uh, sana mimi nilikuwa nayo mimi sikuwa na hawa nasema wako na evidence ndio iko meza where the only thing unasema ni huku wanayo sasa but tutatafuta namna iweze eh yeah. wewe si tutapambana kotini mimi loya wako sijali tutakimbiza namba kama mwisho hapo sawa ikafika ikafika siku ya kwenda kotini eh loya wakashikana na jamaa wakaingia kotini cops wa show up Jaja akayairisha to the following month wakaenda mwezi kaisha siku ya kotini ikafika jamaa na loya wake wakashikana wakaenda kotiko wale makara wa show up hiyo siku ikaisha kairishwa tu another month wakaenda nyumbani after one month wakakutana na loya tena wakakuja cops never showed up ule akaona hapana asona wana delay kitu ndio tuchoke tubweke tuseme tu tulikuwa guilty story ishe tupatiwe eh, punishment tunapatiwa kitu ishe na hiyo ni unfair hiyo mazee hapana so ikabidi loya ametafuta namna akaongelesha judge akamwambia mazee siji kama unaona nini na hape na hapa but wale makops mazee walitushika na hii kesi wanatucheza na wanatufanya mbaya so mimi sijui ni powers gani hizo utatumia but ambia hawa sei bana lazima watoke koti iko ama eh, utuambie sasa the next cause of action ni nini judge akasema actually you are right guys uh, anatupoteza wakati wanatupoteza wakati kama court even tutafanya tumeyairisha tu another month wasiposho up hiyo mwezi nne ni hivyo hii kesi tunaitupilia mbali sawa hiyo ripoti itawafikia ita so ikakuwa sasa ndio hivyo twende another month ule de lawyer akakama akasema sasa ama jamaa tukiingia kotini juu sana unajua wameshao na jaja ameshashika moto so lazima watakama na watakuja na ubaya lazima tutafute design watajin incriminate au wenyewe lazima tutafute vile e, tutakutoa kwa ingori au tu through au So hivi ndio tutafanya. Nataka nikutume pale stage eh useme unataka kuandika statement huko. Lakini tafuta kama unaweza pata tu confession kutoka kwa any of those cops. Wewe ni mjanja na jua hii mambo unajua. Cheza na simu na nini na vitu kama hizo. Tukipata tu anything, anything. Mimi nakwambia tunaitumia kufanya hawa watu mbaya sana. So wewe cheza kiwewe, ingia kwa hiyo stage ona kama unaweza pata kitu. So mgaiz akatoka siku moja akaingia pale kwa police station akiwa kwa gate akatoa simu akaenda pale kwa voice recorder akafinya record na akaiseti kwa fuko hapa. Kuingia ndani mzee akapata one of the cops mwenye alikuwa na wahanda ako na two others. Alikuwa na hope sana apate the same exact cops wenye walimshika. But badala ya kupata the three of them alipata tu mmoja na two others wenye wako involved na hiyo kesi hata kidogo. So akaenda kwao Uh, akaongelesha huyu mwenye alikuwa na mhanda akamwambia ni aje nimeambiwa tu nikamniandike statement yangu hapa vizuri before before tukutane court tena mazena mjakuwa mkisho up kotini jo hii process inakuwa refu jo sijatujui rada ni gani o jamaa akamwambia mtu wangu kitu bana ni, ni rahisi wewe ndio unaifanya ikuwe complicated yeah and that's all i'm saying sasa jamaa kwa na umse umse amekuwa mjanja nini mbona hataki kuongea najua kile una insinuate lakini lazima uiseme unajua ndio ikwe itumike kwa court of law lazima u, laz, y, say it ah akaona hii kitu imekunywa ime maji akaambia ah ni sawa ta. hata hiyo psyche kwa ndio statement imenitoka acha nirudi home nikipata psyche ndarudi siku nyingine then akatan buda alipiga two steps tatu akaanza kusikia jamaa akiongea lakini mbona una complicate kitu wewe kwani wewe unafurahi kushinda ukirudi rudi kotini akataa nakajua this is it akarudi kwa karao tena sasa afande unasema aje sasa mimi nishachoka hii kitu ya kupiga hizi malap za kotiko bana hii ni kitu tungefaa kwa tushamaliza sasa tuko karibu six months in manze akaambia eh bana na nikupenda kwako hii ni kitu unaingia kwa mfuko unasema afande acha nikuambie pole na elfu kadhaa bas Tunafanya hii kesi na inapotea lakini ukikuwa mjeuri tutaifa uta, wewe ndio unaumia wewe unaona kama sisi tunaumia hapa amuumia fande amuumia walai amuumia bas mjue vile mtakacheza wewe ndio utaamua kama unataka kesi ishe leo ama tuendelee ah akasema ni sawa haina mambo Jaja amesema tutakutana tu kotini next month wacha nione kama sitakuwa nimepata kitu ba hiyo next month sasa. Ah si itabidi tu ikuwe hivyo. Bas. Na jamaa katan akaenda. Akona all he needed. Amerekodi kwa simu. Very fast. 
akatumia lawyer wake akawaambia ehe wame admit hapo tu kwa recording ya kwamba wanataka ni wahonge ndio kesi ipotee bas lawyer akawaambia this is beautiful sasa tukipata kitu kingine moja ni hivyo we have buried them kazi kwisha na wakaenda wakatulia wakangojea siku ya kesi hii the fourth time the cops wakaamua wacha tuende sasa juu yule kijana ameamua kukuwa manga amekataa kutoa pesa kidogo wafande asikie vizuri wacha tuende tukamzike sasa wamekuja na ile exhibit tena yote wameitandika hapo kwa meza karao akaenda kwa stand akafungua mdomo proper akabari huyo kijana deadly akasema vile huyo jamani pedla mngori yani ameuza bangi ameharibu watoto hiyo nyandarua yote yani ilikuwa ni noma So judge anasikiza tu ni zote mazee and the cop was very convincing but at some point judge akaanza kuona hey, 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 na uki jana akona mia kangapi huyu Pablo Escobar hey, unafanya mpaka police department na kuogopa hivi wewe ni nani so akamaliza ni zote karawa kamaliza kila kitu basi ikabidi sasa ni lawyer wa ujama akuja nito cross examination ama inaitagua nini watu wa watu wa sheria niambieni sasa lawyer wa kijana akakuja ku ku interview cop kidogo ehe wao unasema ulishika huyu kijana ya ya tulimshika amejaza bangi kwa pepa baguyu hata ana aibu anauza bangi mchana saa sita ni kama ana hoka ice cream karibu dufikirie ni wale wa Burundi wanauza njugu kwa traffic tukapata mjamaa narcotics ndio amejaza kwa mfuko eh hey, okay so mkimshika alikuwa amevaa nini ai nakumbuka ni kama ni jana utasahau waje ukishika el chapo alikuwa amevaa t-shirt ya black na trouser ya white i can never forget sababu ni mtu ametusumbua sana kwa hiki jiji ah, okay trouser ya black na shati ya white okay na unasema ulimpata na hizi ah kabisa ndio hizo angalia ningekuwa tulimpata na bangi mbili tungejua ni zake za kutumia for personal use lakini mtu anatembea na misokoto nyingi hivi ya bangi si huyu ni mtu anauza huyu Eh na hiyo ndio reason nako hapa. Hata sijui mbona tumepoteza wakati sana hivi. Huyu ni mtu angefaa kuwa ndani kitambo, watoto wameumia sababu yake. Ah okay, ni sasa haina mambo. Dakika kuna ka break mnapewago hapo kabla kesi imalizwe kusikiza jamaa. Eh ah no no. So judge after amesha sikiza nini both side akasema ni sawa. Eh so mtaenda then tuta reconvene tena eh, day flani flani for the sentencing. Hiyo iko sawa. At this point the boy ametetemeka deadly anashindwa wa na tulikuwa na ka evidence kafiti mazee itakuwaaje mbona hata sijasikia ikiongelewa mahali kwa kwa kotiko so sijui lawyer na huyu nani walikuwa judge ni kama walikuwa wameipanga i don't know sielewi mbona kwa hii kesi ya mwisho hii recording haikuchezwa then vile jamaa aliachiliwa ende mtaa ndio arudi tena sasa for sentencing ndio sasa mambo yote iliwekwa kwa meza right before judge akaambiwa kuna recording ilikuwa hapa hii recording ni ya huyu jamaa akijiincriminate vizuri akisema anataka bribe kwa kijana number two, wakati judge aliahirisha hii kesi akasema sasa tuunane mara ya mwisho tufunge hii kitu as the boy and the lawyer walikuwa njiani wakienda home ika hit kijana wait a minute ule jamaa kwa kotini amesema nilikuwa nimevaa t-shirt ya black na trouser ya white. First of all huko ni ushago kuna mchanga mwingine ya red ngori sana na matope. Sijui ni ndume mgani huyo anapiga trouser ya white huko. So hiyo alidanganya. And the reason why the boy was so sure the cop amedanganya ni the fact that wakati alikuwa ameshikwa akapelekwa kwanza ile remand ya one day the following day before wakuje kotini kusomewa mashtaka mara ya kwanza yeye na rafiki yake ambaye walikutana kwa jela walipigana picha hiyo picha ako nayo aliingia tu kwa simu immediately akaitafuta akapatia lawyer ndio hii picha ya vile nilikuwa nimevaa cops wakinishika juu after wanishike siku wa change juu nilitoka hapo nikapelekwa police station kutoka police station tukalala tukaingia kotini sija change anywhere niko na the same clothes kutoka kotini tukapelekwa remand one day tukaenda remand tukalala the following day nikatoka remand na the same clothes nikarudishwa kotini ndio tukapatiwa bail nikaenda nyumbani hakuna mali nilichange hapo katikati na hivi ndio nilikuwa nimevaa hii picha nilipiga tukiwa pale tunaenda Eh, eh, kotiko kusomewa mashtaka this is it the boy is in a red hoodie and black jeans in fact derek weka hiyo picha ndio unaweza weka zile mazinga ombwe mnaekaga kwa uso ndio <laughs> tusimu <laughs> ya tu asikue target muweke hizo mama jambos but nguo ndio hizo now 
That was number one. Number two, ile recording ikatoka. So sasa ikafika ule wakati wa mwisho kabisa sasa ndio tuna determine kesi kama mtu wako guilty or not. Judge akasukumiwa vid- eh, audio recording na picha ya kuonyesha askari alidanganya. Askari alisema alipata ripoti <coughs> like the boy ni muuzaji bangi hodari mpaka a citizen alipiga simu kwa police akawaambia niaje kuna mtu anatuua na bangi kujeni mumushike amevaa black na white msimuachilie anatumaliza au makarao wakakuja sababu citizen amewapigia wakashika kijana wakamweka ndani na black t-shirt na white trouser picha imeonekana hapa alikuwa na red hoodie na black trouser so ikakuwa very evident ulipatiwa eh, instructions vizuri ushike mtu wako na black t-shirt na white trouser ukashika the wrong person so hiyo kwanza nje number two, kuna recording yako hapa unasikika vizuri ukisema wewe oh, ufanywe hivi ndio wewe oh, ufanye hivi Aha, wewe ni afisa wa serikali na unajua hiyo ni illegal mjamaa akajizika hapo hapo koti ikapata kijana bila hatia hata hata moja na wakama release na hao askari wakapigwa adhabu yao i think waliachishwa kazi effective immediately na judge akasema hata wachilia kijana until akikishe amekuwa compensated because of the trauma that he went through those couple of months sababu alikuwa eh hata si couple of months those were many months hizi kesi kesi na shida ikiairishwa karibu miezi sita kesi yaishi so compensation lazima i come through unfortunately mazee mambo haikuenda vizuri barely two months after the case the judge akapata ugonjwa fulani na akaaga so vile alidedi hiyo story ya compensation hata kijana akaachana nayo but the fact that the, wale ma police walikuwa punished hiyo ilikuwa tu sawa kwake na hivyo ndio alipona sababu ya ujeuri fulani ya kupiga picha hata sidani walikuwa wanafaa kupiga hizo picha kuna area yani hata ufai upige picha sijui ni nini niliwaambia wapige picha <laughs> but hiyo ndio iliwaokoa iliokoa kijana yeah plus na ile ile recording na shout out to your lawyer man juni koshwa si ati alikuwa analipwa pesa fiti sana ni wase but the fact that alikimbia na kijana the entire mungu ambariki bas na hapo ndio nafungia kipindi cha young and stupid wacha tuonane wednesday ijayo kwa mini sod au sio hapo sawa adios muchachos guys peace young and stupid young and stupid Yeah